so you want to use your drum module with Logic Pro. Not sure how to do it? Let me help you today. Holidays. Uh, welcome to the Saba Drum page. Today is going to be a little bit of an interesting video because I'm going to talk about something that I've sort of been against for a little bit of time, but I'm starting to come around a little bit. I'm starting to kind of see the light, you could say, um, and that's talking about hooking up your module uh, to a VST or, um, you know, computer software. I've known how to do this um, using GarageBand and, and using other things, but you know, using band lab a little bit. Um, and, but I really didn't understand sort of like what was the best for and the reason why we did it. But now I'm sort of starting to see why um, I'm still somebody who really greatly believes in making my module sound as good as it can, the kits inside of it, editing the kits, making them sound really good. That's still going to be something that I'm always going to do. This is really a great video if you have an older drum module. Okay. I recently bought a TD 15, um, which is a fantastic module. Um, but I learned and found out that, you know, with a lot of older modules, you, you look and you try to find um, the drivers that are on Roland.com in order to have the, have the module communicate with the software. Um, with the TD-15, it's too old to have an operating system that works with uh, Mac Sequoia, which is the latest update for Mac. Um, and there's just going to be more updates. So I was sort of upset that I bought this great module, but I couldn't hook it up. Um, now I had, before this, I had a TD-11. Now the TD-11 is an interesting case because it's a little bit newer than the TD-15, but there is updated software for this. So I was able to use my USB connection to hook up to the computer and I had a connection and it was fine. Um, the problem is I don't like the module as much in terms of the sound and some of the internal things with it. Now for people that don't really care about this, you really should care about what's inside your module. You should care about the sounds because you want to make sure that you understand how to use a module using all the keys with it, using, you know, understanding what it sounds like. There might be times where you have to use it and you should understand how it works. Okay. Um, so, so I'm still a big believer in learning how to use the module. Now, if you don't have a option for software, okay, I'm just going to use the TD11 module as an example. Um, but if you don't have an option to hook it up just with one USB cord, what you need to do is you need two things. You'll need uh, an audio interface, okay, which is like a box that you can connect to your, uh, your drum module can connect to, okay, and you can communicate with it. And you need a five pin MIDI cord, okay. And what you want to do is you want to use the MIDI out, okay, that's on the module and you want to connect your MIDI, you want to connect your MIDI in cord it's going to say in or out on it okay so i'm going to find it is in and you want to connect it to it okay and then once it is connected okay it takes a second too you know because it's not the easiest connection once it's connected you then connect this to the midi in on the on the uh, audio interface okay and then you will have a connection and you can then use your drum set with a, a digital audio workstation of your choice, okay? But in this case, we're gonna talk about Logic Pro. Some of the things to keep in mind, uh, you're gonna still use your, your module for certain things. So if you're using a cross stick, let's say, okay? You need to turn it on in your module and understand that you just press the cross stick button. And even though your module's cross stick is gonna be on, it's gonna trigger the cross stick in Drum Kit Designer. So there's little key things like that that you're still going to need your module for. Okay, you can't just have your, you know, you can't just forget about your module. You're going to need this to power the uh, the drum kit designer. So again, hope this video is helpful. Um, it's going to basically be step by step on how to do it. Okay, and that's it. I've got some playing examples of the kits. Enjoy. Thanks, guys. Okay, so once you hook everything up and you have your interface uh, plugged in with the MIDI control from the module. And you, you're you ready now to plug in your interface. So you have your USB for running from the interface, and now you're going to plug it into your computer. And now as you plug it in, in Logic, you're going to see that a menu is going to pop up that's going to say inputs have changed, and PreSonus Audio Box I2 will be used for this section. Okay, so you hit OK, and now you are ready to go. You want to then select the green MIDI 
option, okay, and drum kit designer, okay, so you're going to have this menu down here, and you're going to want to make sure drum kit designer is, is accepted, and it's going to ask you for stereo or multi-output, so you really have a choice, I always choose multi-output because it allows you to have multi-outputs, and eventually you can split each note, separate each note, I should say, and you can have separate channels for each and every one of your uh, kits, which is awesome. So I'm then quickly going to create it. Okay, and then as I create it, I have a kit here. Okay, and I'm going to choose, it doesn't matter, I'll choose the first one. I'm gonna go through all of them, but I'm gonna choose Birch. And when I go into Birch, you are then going to run into your little green arrow here that says drum kit. You press drum kit, okay? The actual icon of a drum set is going to come up. Okay, you wanna bring this up a little bit and then you wanna, this is very important, you wanna make sure you are clicking this button on the bottom. Okay, and it's gonna ask you input mapping. Okay, you're gonna have GM and then you're going to see two of them. There's gonna be another one here that says uh, mod wheel controls, high at opening degree, and then V-Drum. You're gonna to wanna to select V-Drum. The reason why you wanna select V-Drum is because this is going to help you play your drums. When you play your drums, it's going to map it the same way you would map your kit. Um, and how it plays in a lot of a lot of ways. So you're definitely it's definitely going to be a big help. It's going to make it your it's going to make your experience with uh, drum kit designer uh, feel a lot more natural. And yeah, now we're ready to go. 